Now pay now attention, pay attention Sir. I've always I've tried always to teach you two things. First, First, never let, never them, let them, them see you bleed. And the second? Always, always have an escape. Plan. Good morning, a good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. I'm Christopher Morales, and this is yet another episode of That One Bond Guy Meets. But not any ordinary episode. It's truly, for me, a very special episode. The individual who sits in front of you today, you may recognize them from some of the Bond virtual events that have happened in the past. Most recently, uh, Operation Phoenix, who's part of the fitness panel. He was a panelist who talked about, well, fitness And not only that, but he's just a very humble gentleman and just a great guy overall. And also, he is a celebrity personal trainer, fitness expert, lifestyle coach, and best-selling author. He has worked with the likes of Kingsley Ben-Adir, Johnny Harris, and one of my all-time favorites, Mr. Mark Strong. They've done movies together such as Welcome to the Punch, Shazam, and you guys know this, the one series that started it all for me. Kingsman, both the Secret Service and the Golden Circle. Without further ado, everyone, I would like to introduce you to Mr. Giacomo Farci. How are you doing today? Hello, guys. Hello, Chris. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, man, it's an absolute honor to have you on to the show and super, super exciting for me. I know we've chat personally through Instagram and talked about, you know, some of my goals that I want to set, but I really wanted you to come on to the show so everyone could get to meet you and see how great of a person you are. So, again, thank, thank you, you for much. taking time out of your very, very busy day and very busy schedule to sit down and chat. So I want to start off with a pretty basic question. Who awesome. is Giacomo Farci? Where do you come from? And how did you start into the fitness world? Mm. Uh, I come from, I'm Italian. Uh, I come from uh, Sardinia, which is a, uh, quite a big island between Italy and Spain. That's why, why my accent is not really Italian, it's a bit a mix of Latin and Spanish. We speak a slightly different language together with, with, with Italian, yeah. And uh, I've always been um, fascinated by sport and I always trained my friends, uh, even when we were playing football or basketball or volleyball. And I've always been fascinated by the training side of, the, uh, of every uh, sport discipline more than actually playing more than actually winning or uh, losing. I was more uh, attracted by the how to increase the performance, how to make things better, how to reduce injuries. Mostly quality of life, uh, quality of sleep, how to improve your performance during the day. And he referred me to Mark Strong. At the, at the time, didn't have a personal trainer. So everything started like that. Yeah. And I'm still collaborating with this producer because I think w- one of my best skills is uh, that I um, am proud of it. Is that I keep my clients injuries free. So you know, as a producer, when you do, when you give your actors to a trainer, you don't want them to be to get injured because, as you understand, if the um, filming must stop because an actor is injured, uh, the costs are very high. So I think for every trainer, uh, injuries record with his clients or, or with their clients is very important. So must be considered. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, you forgot to mention I trained also a Bond girl, which is Berenice Marlowe Marlo oh. uh, for Skyfall. It's interesting because in my life, uh, since I was little, probably also the, I was destined to, anyway, to be involved in, with the Bond community because I went to school with uh, Caterina Murino, who was another Bond girl in uh, uh, Casino Royale. If yeah. you remember, yes. Yep, yep. I never so trained lucky. her. <laughs> I never trained her, but we hung out, hung out together. We had common friends. Uh, she's very nice. Now she lives in Paris. And uh, she, so she's Sardinia like me. Uh, so, and then eventually I trained Mary, Berenice Marlowe for, uh, for Skyfall. Eventually, when I started to train Mark Strong, it is interesting, a lot of people for, uh, on, from the Bond community started to follow me because Mark Strong always been uh, one, one in the list to be a buddy in, uh, in James Bond. Every time they were you know, casting some buddy in James Bond, newspapers pointed his name as mm-hmm. together with, with others. So I think... Somehow people expected Mark to be, at some point, one of the buddies. And uh, so people in the Bond community started to follow my Instagram profile. And that's how I met uh, David Zawiski and you. And yeah, th- that's the link between me and the Bond community. Yeah. And yeah, that was, I mean, I'll be honest with you. That was one of my greatest moments in the Bond community is being able to help 
and be alongside you and Sean Lerwill, who was the other fitness panelist. Sean. And he and you did knocked it out of the park. We spent what was it about a half hour to an hour just talking about fitness and people yes. learned a lot. Um, and I mean, it was really a great event because it brought people who didn't really know anything about fitness to people who knew about fitness and brought them all together. And it was just yes, overall amazing. a great conversation. But it's also the, the power of social networks because uh, probably David Zawinski was the first to uh, started to follow me. I think he's from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So the power of social networks, and then eventually through him, I also uh, became friend with uh, some some other uh, Simon from Miami and the, the you from LA, and then eventually I met Sean. I thought Sean is from yeah, South England. Uh, he's a, he's one of the best trainers um, here. I never I never I never I never met him before. I never heard about him honestly. And through the Bond community, I met him. And we actually live in the same country. So I think it's is the is the power of social networks when used properly, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, honestly, it was I've always been trying to find somebody to look up for, whether it's, you know, clothing or uh, fitness. And it was that was the one part that was lacking. It was definitely the fitness. There was a couple of people in the past have done things on social media, but they've kind of been a little bit quieter. So it was really awesome to find somebody like you and Sean to really look up to. I mean, I definitely look up to both of you. And it and that's why I'm super excited. Positive to message. That. Positive message. Yeah. Um, second question. I mean, like you mentioned, you worked in the film industry alongside Mark Strong and all these other great actors. What was one of your most favorite projects that you've worked on? Uh, I enjoyed all of them for many reasons. Um, I think I enjoyed Shazam a lot because. Uh, we were required to build a, a strong core to make a uh, mark flies. So I, I worked to movies like Green Lantern, where or, or um, Kingsman, where Mark and other actors had to fight. So I had to prepare them to be able to no to act while fighting. Mm -hmm. So a good level of of uh, fitness, a, a work capacity, and a good uh, decent level of, of uh, flexibility, awareness of the space. So even a lot of kickboxing and uh, stretching and, and different um, different exercises. But with, for, with, with Shazam, for the first time, I had someone to, who had to fly. So I never trained a superhero like Dr. Sivana that had to fly. So um, Kali Gardner, the head stunt of uh, Shazam, and uh, asked me by email um, from the US to uh, make uh, Mark's, Mark's core as strong as possible because you need to have a strong core to keep a certain position mm -hmm. while flying around with uh, uh, cables, uh, argon, and had to do a lot of extremi extremity training so to extend joints and um, and limbs as much as possible. This to prepare him to be strong but also to be injury free while shooting. Yeah, yeah. They count, uh, these guys, these stunts that I really admire a lot, they lock themselves for three months inside a, a hangar trying all these amazing action movies uh, to also um, um, reduce the, um, no, uh, by a health and safety point of view, any risk for the actors when they arrive. And uh, no, I was really pleased by the words of uh, Kylie Gardner that he said, uh, Mark Strong picked up in 30 minutes what they prepare for three months. So his, strong work, his call was strong enough, he was ready for the action. So I really enjoyed the preparation. I enjoyed also being, anyway. But it's it was amazing to see everyone talk about Mark's strength and it's all because of your hard work you know you're kind of like the mastermind behind of it all behind it all and it was really cool to see that visually and people normal moviegoers I would have no idea so having this yeah. insight is really cool they believe everything is computer graphica but no it's just the background is computer graphica mm -hmm. when they spin around and they fly they actually do that at the same time they need to keep also a certain expression of could be anything or acting or uh, hunger or um uh, happiness, no? Mm -hmm. so you cannot be afraid of doing that that movement at that, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, from so high. It's, it's quite interesting, yes. Moving on to the next question I have, I, I, it kind of goes towards people who are really interested in fitness, whether it's just starting out or starting back up after a long break. What would be some kind of regiment or set mm -hmm. of workouts you would recommend them to start back up to build up from? Beginning. I will always recommend any way to start slowly and according with their current fitness level. No matter how much training history you had, zero or a lot. If you if you didn't train in a in a while, don't start 100% full on. Yeah. 
And so a lot of flexibility drills and a lot of stretching. I take it easy the first session. It, it doesn't make sense going to the gym, destroying yourself, and then be unable to move for one week. Okay. And so it needs to be sustainable and achievable in the long term, especially because I guess in any way the question is also related to people who are maybe um, older than 30. So we'll, we start to lose flexibility. And so we need, we need to be careful when we get back into fitness. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I work a lot with uh, circuit training. So uh, we, because is um, circuit training uh, with keeping high intensity is very uh, time effective. So sometimes I go to the gym, I do 20 minutes, three circuit trainings, I leave. Yeah. At the reception is sometimes, is it, is everything okay? Because they always wonder if you stayed only for, t for 20 minutes and not for three hours, checking your phone, uh, seated on the, on the leg extensions, they believe you, you, you're not, you're not happy for something, something happened. No, well, actually you can be very effective in 20 or 30 minutes. So, um, so once you are flexible and, and enough, you know, your body, um, you are ready. I, th I advise to do intensive circuit trainings, okay? Because they are time effective. We are pretty much all professionals. We have children, and sometimes we we cannot stay at the gym for two hours. Yeah? We don't get paid to train, okay? Uh, training should sustain our lifestyle, and, and not vice versa. And um, exercise-wise, I think I really love. Um, at the end, our body evolved to pick stuff from the floor and lifting over the head, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So any form of deadlifts uh, where you um, lift a barbell or dumbbells or anything. It could be also a, a Bulgarian bag or a kettlebell. So picking stuff from the floor and lifting over the head. So let's say any form of deadlifts and shoulder press for me is very efficient and effective. So you work everything pretty much. Mm -hmm. And I like, I like running, but there are people who might not. Uh, I just try not to run in a straight line. So run while changing direction also and um i think uh, i'm a puller there are people who love pushing for me is i really love pulling i feel like like a climber i like wall climbing oh, i yeah. think we, our body evolved also to climb right mm -hmm. so anything that um replicates that uh, climbing could be a lot machine or could be a chin up bar and or right. could be um, um pulling with dumbbells on the bench so uh, say pulling is very important for the for the posture for the um, gravitational back of the of the body that starts you no know, from the back of the head and finishes mm -hmm. down the, to the calf. So um, every single muscle of the chain behaves like um, they are all connected. It's like having a big muscle. So you need to look after it to uh, to keep a strong posture. Yeah. So I mm -hmm. would yeah any pulling exercise that mimics climbing, I think it's very functional. So oh. I would say so deadlifts and shoulder press over the head and uh, any form of running, unless you, li you like sw uh, swimming or, or skiing, ski machine, but anything that is high compound and makes you sweat and warm and any pulling exercise. I think three, these three movements for me are quite important. It's so great. One of my favorite aspects of following you is you posting all your stories about whenever you cook at home and making those beautiful meals that I get so jealous about and wishing I could make some of my own but you know um you can you can, you can. <laughs> and I and I've been taking notes I, I I promise I've been taking notes my question to you is what are the essential foods that people should consume in order to you know maintain that great stability may get the best nutrition maybe your top three foods that you would consider to be the best if it i will probably talk more about uh, macros first the first i think is is fiber and um if it's it's very difficult to eat uh, 30 grams of fiber per day which is the nhs um, advised quantity of fiber for long health uh, i do agree with them because i come from uh, sardinia when it's uh, sardinia i don't know if you heard about the six blue areas mm. uh, are the areas that by a national geographic study and uh, other, other studies have been have been identified as the areas where there are um, um, most amount of centenaries ultra centenaries in the world so uh, another place is in Greece, another place is actually in California, another place is in the Caribbean. Mm. And uh, yes, so I, it, it appears that in uh, all the, uh, another place is in uh, um, Okinawa in Japan. Okay. And 
if you check the uh, nutrition of uh, these people who reached 100 years, uh, apart from obviously other factors like they get sunshine, 15 minutes of sunshine every day, they don't have a, a job where they stay seated on a chair for 12 hours, uh, they take regular nap in the afternoon, and they are surrounded of children and grandchildren, like they have up to 25 grandchildren, so also sense of community. So there are different factors. It's not just about nutrition. But they keep moving anyway. They still pick um, uh, courgettes or stuff from the from the um, from the field. So they, mm -hmm. they they never stop moving even when they are 90 uh, and 100 years old. And uh, another thing, interesting thing is they don't eat much meat, but mm -hmm. uh, they, it, their diet is uh, mainly based on uh, veg, veg, plenty oh. of fiber. Yes. So uh, uh, according with the studies uh, or the other studies about the macros. The macro that for me, in my opinion, is more important also for gut mobility and other things. It's uh, fiber. So vegetable based um, diet. I'm not, okay. I'm not saying you must be a, a vegetarian or vegan. Absolutely. Keep eating your meat or fish if you like it, but increase as much as possible the amount of vegetables that you eat um, during your day. Cruciferous mm -hmm. vegetables like broccoli and mm -hmm. anything yeah so for me i try to always put in my plate veg then the more the colors the better yeah yeah and perfect second i think is uh, protein not not drinking a protein shake i'm not a, a personal trainer into uh, powders or pills or any magic uh, uh, shortcuts or processed food uh, but um yeah uh, if you can uh, eat uh, if you can eat the right amount of protein with uh, uh, whole food, okay, uh, do it because also with the age we lose muscle mass. Mm -hmm. It's a process that uh, is uh, called uh, sarcopenia. Okay. So after 30, 35 years old, no matter how much you train, we naturally start to lose a bit of muscle mass, uh, either skeletal muscle mass or muscle mass everywhere in, in your limbs. And uh, so it's really important to uh, do strength training, but it's really important also to provide your body with the right amount of protein. Awesome. Yeah. And from a personal point of view, a selfish point of view, I love coffee. So I would actually <laughs> advise if, if you like tea, OK, but a little boost with some form of caffeine. I find it very um, uh, useful to train unless you are sensitive to caffeine. But that's another another topic. I completely agree with you. I absolutely love my cup of coffees in the morning. So, so just <laughs> protein and coffee. Oh, yes, definitely. Here's kind of a bonus question. You were telling me about this. Um, uh, a little earlier uh kind of bringing it back to bond you said you used to watch bond at a young age um do you have a favorite film or a favorite bond in particular i i'm very close to uh, every movie with sean connery because uh, my father used to watch james bond a, a lot he used to watch he used to watch all of, all of them but i, I feel in particular the best years were when i used to watch james bond with my father af after dinner and it's a coincidence that were when uh, james bond was sean connery yes at the at the, at the time more than timothy dalton or uh, opis brosnan and uh, so i'm very very close to to the every move every movie with sean connery That's and yeah, from emotional point of view he's james bond for me from emotional point of view and but i loved casino royale probably because also Caterina was in Casino Royale, or anyway, and then the, with Casino Royale, they started something new also, something fresh. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 Casino Royale was the first movie I watched in English also. Oh, wow. So yes, I would say all movies with, um, all the movies with Sean Connery, and probably my favorite movie of the last 25 years is Casino Royale, James Bond, yes. That is very cool. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone has that special connection, and I think it's it's very awesome. I, I always love asking these questions whenever I do interviews with anyone because it's always interesting to me to hear that emotional connection. Where yeah, also, also, also because at that time, also when I when I started to train Mark, Mark, uh, so Daniel Craig is uh, Mark's eldest son, godfather. Oh wow! So somehow I was anyway connected. Sometimes I chat with uh, Mark and we, we mentioned Daniel because they are best friends. That's so he said, I heard, I heard from uh, Daniel and Rachel, we, we went for dinner. It's somehow, even if I never met Daniel, I'm kind of in the family somehow. So that is funny. Casino Royale was the first movie that I watched in English when I moved to London. 
and eventually I met Mark Strong, who ap uh, appears to be best friend with uh, Daniel. So I'm connected somehow with Casino Royale. It was just meant to be, kind of a small yes. world. That's funny. <laughs> That's great. Man. It, 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 anyway, I'd like to mention, because he deserves, he fully deserves a Sean Coney. Uh, two weeks ago was 90th birthday. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so uh, we are talking about being functional, a, uh, um, a good body, uh, injuries free, because at the moment I'm 43 years old, and my my only goal, realistically, is keeping this body until longer as, as possible. I don't want to be any stronger. I don't want to be any faster. For me, it's very important now to keep this uh, shape until I'm 80. But Sean Connery uh, showed us that we can actually keep this shape until 90. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It's, Everyone uh, it's strive a, it's a to be of, like Sean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks great. Yeah. Great. Um, kind of closing it out here. I mean, we've had, I can't believe it's almost over. I mean, we've, time flies when you're having fun. You do right? it again, Chris. Yeah. I... You get every bit of I, I. You can get a little bit of everything of what we talked about in your book, Strong. I kind of want to chat about that. How did that come up, and um, where can we find uh, the book? Everything start. I think everything started with my uh, personality. I have always been attracted by. Uh, I told you earlier how to increase the um, performance while training, but then in my life I always try to to apply that uh, mindset to other things how to get the best from school with putting less time as possible, you know, because maybe I wanted to go out with my friends or with, or with my girlfriend. So how to be more effective what I do in every single thing, even a cooking uh, a, a omelette, how can I cook in less time but still make it delicious? But not in a um, stressful way. I don't want to do everything rushing and low quality. Actually, increasing the quality and decreasing the time I put in. Also, the amount of my mind space that I, I use, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I want to reduce the amount of uh, my um, effort, mental effort, and mind space that I put in everything, like um, could be even uh, what to wear in the morning. Everything is already planned from the previous night because the last thing that I want to do in, in the morning when I don't want to, when I'm tired, and maybe I don't feel like uh, I don't want to go to work or I don't want to do, go training so early in, in the morning, if the training kit is already on the bed or it's already in the uh, gym bag, I don't need to spend mental energy in the morning to to think I need to do that, I don't want to do it, eventually I waste time or, 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 or actually I start to procrastinate, I don't do that, that task that I plan to do. So how can I, can I reduce procrastination in my day while, or waste of time while uh, increasing productivity and, uh, and, and performance? As, Especially dealing with uh, with the uh, city professionals and also producers and uh, actors, they are all quite driven individual. Uh, they want to uh, uh, very strong headed. Uh, they want to get the best from their day. So I developed in years uh, the strategies that I I was already applying on myself. Uh, so I developed uh, new strategies and tools to help these. Uh, uh, high dri driven professionals who want to get everything done in their busy day, including uh, their workouts, including their meals, because it's very easy to miss a workout because we don't feel like, or because we start to procrastinate. And I should go to the gym, but I don't feel like, maybe I start to watch a YouTube video just for five minutes, and then you realize one hour is gone. You wasted a lot of time watching uh, YouTube videos, completely irrelevant, and you wasted the only hour available in your day. It's very interesting. We, we, might say, we might think that person is lazy or not driven. It's not true because this happens to everybody, even to very, very successful people. So I started to think why this happened. And it's about my mind space, other little things that I wrote in my book. So my book Strong is about um, daily productivity. I know the title might be a little bit deceiving. So <laughs> it might be it's just about training. No, it's not just about training. It's how to keep strong mentally emotionally and physically strong to get everything done during your day, including your workouts and your, and the, and your current nutrition. So I, I analyze certain um, uh, topics like uh, um, social pressure towards drinking and eating. So mm. when we go to some parties or dinners, sometimes it's very difficult to say no to colleagues or friends who push for us to yeah. drink or eat. So tools on strategy to apply or to improve your um, quality of sleep, which is very important. Because if you if your quality of sleep is low, your productivity unit that is low, a high chances are that you don't go to the gym, or if you go to the gym, you don't perform. If you don't sleep very well, high chances are that you crave some something sugary during the day that ruins your 
yeah, your attempt to stay lean. And yes, these are just a few topics that I, um, yes, contained in my book. Yeah. Awesome. And where can we uh, pick it up? It's on uh, available on uh, Amazon. So if you go to Amazon and you, and you uh, type Giacomo Farci, uh, you might also type Giacomo Farci Mar- Mark Strong, uh, which, uh, who um, Mark wrote the foreword of my book because he was oh. so pleased with what we reached together that he wanted to, he, he kindly um, wrote the, um, the, the, the forward, yes. That's perfect. Well, yeah. I will link that link uh, in the description below underneath the video as well as the direct link to your website. It's jacomofarci.com, correct? Yes, thank you. Awesome. I'll link that so everyone can check you out and uh, see all, all the great accomplishments that you've done. And I believe there's even, uh, I was kind of doing my research on the website, there's even a way to contact you and see if you could possibly talk about... You- you can find me in on my. Um, you can contact me through my website, so uh, giacomofarci.com, or uh, on my Instagram at giacomofarci. I try to uh, reply to every everyone, as you know, also Jocelyn or other uh, friends we have in common. I reply uh, to every question about fitness and nutrition whenever I I, I can. But I really love what what I do. So uh, reach out if you have any question uh, about fitness, nutrition, uh, sleep, uh, daily productivity, and uh, you, so you can find me uh, on Instagram at giacomofarci. Perfect. And that reminds me, uh, I have to do this for, for Jocelyn. She just wanted to say hello. So shout out to the ladies who bond. Jocelyn says hello. Hello, so, Jocelyn. <laughs> with that being said, thank you so much, Jock, for spending time with me. It's, it's been 30 minutes, 30 fantastic minutes getting to know you and talk about fitness. Bond. Again soon. Maybe next yeah. time we talk, we will know the, the name of the new bond. Who knows? Or maybe we will talk about Shazam 2 also. Ooh, that would be very cool. I mean... I have some predictions on what I would like to see the next Bond look like, but we'll, we'll, we'll probably <laughs> yeah we'll probably keep that inside for now. So, <laughs> but I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank and you. everyone watching, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, this is Giacomo Farci, one of the greatest friends of mine and very Thanks. awesome person that contact with any fitness related questions and anything in between. So. That being said, everyone, take care, be safe, and I will see you all very soon. See ya.